Hi, welcome back to Crock-Pot Empire. I'm Kimberly Bishop and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be cooking scalloped potatoes in the Crock-Pot Express multi-cooker on pressure cooker mode. This is such a rich and creamy dish loaded with cheese that's sure to please. So come on and join me. Let's get cooking southern scalloped potatoes. Okay, to get started we're going to need two pounds of Idaho russet potatoes. You can also use Yukon Gold in this recipe if you prefer. But as you can see, it's about two large potatoes and three small potatoes. These come from a five pound bag and it's a little over two pounds, which is just fine. It doesn't have to be precise. And next we need to peel our potatoes. A good tip is to always peel the potato towards yourself. If you peel it away from yourself, it can get really messy and the peel just flies everywhere. As you can see here, peeling it towards myself, I have more control over it, so I can cut it in ribbons, opposed to it just going everywhere and making a mess. And after peeling one potato at a time so that they don't brown, I use my mandolin very carefully to cut my potatoes into a quarter inch thick pieces. This is very important. If they're not all ranging in size of a quarter inch thick, it's either going to turn to mush in the express crock or other pieces that are too thick are just going to be hard and tough. We want our potatoes to be soft and cooked through. And once we get that potato peeled and sliced, we're gonna put those slices in a bowl of water so that we have time to work on the other potatoes and they don't discolor or brown. And now let's cook our potatoes. We're gonna add our trivet to the inner pot and one cup of water. Next, we're going to add our steamer basket with our potatoes. The steamer basket is such a helpful tool for the express crock. I'll link it down below in the description box if you'd like to get one. And let's salt our potatoes with a half teaspoon of salt. And if you so desire to make this a scalloped potatoes and ham dish, this is the time to add in eight ounces of cubed cooked ham. Put your lid on lock, turn the valve to the sealing position, press the steam button, decrease the time to three minutes, and then press start. When the timer goes off, do an immediate release, and when you hear the pin drop, open the lid, and you have perfectly cooked potatoes and ham. But they're not scalloped yet, they're just cut that way. We have to make our cheesy, rich, indulgent cream sauce to really make them southern scalloped potatoes. So we'll transfer our potatoes and the ham to a baking dish, and let's get started on our cream sauce. We're gonna start by adding three tablespoons of salted butter to the bottom of our inner pot that has been warming up on saute mode. And I'm just gonna help this butter melt a little bit more until it's fully melted down. And then we're going to add in our onions and we're gonna cook those through until they're tender and translucent, about five minutes. To our onions, we'll add in some minced garlic and cook that until fragrant. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to go give it some love by clicking on that big thumbs up button. And for exact ingredients and measurements, you can always head over to my blog at crockpotempire.com for a free printable recipe card. Now we're going to gently add in our flour and whisk that around until it's a nice golden brown. And now we're going to stir in our chicken broth a little bit at a time until our consistency is a very creamy, smooth texture. You can see as I'm whisking in the broth that a creamy paste is starting to form. We want that to be really smooth to get it looking just like this. This is perfect. So now let's add our creams. We're gonna add half and half, and we want our creams to be warm, not right out of the refrigerator, because we don't want our mixture to curdle. Ew, gross. Keep adding the cream and stirring until it's no longer lumpy and really smooth. And now it's time to add our heavy whipping cream. And just like with the half and half, we're going to add a little bit at a time while we continuously whisk. We don't want this to come to a boil, but yet a simmer. I've found that when sauteing creams in the express crock, it's best to saute them on low setting. That way it doesn't come to a boil, but yet a simmer, which is exactly what we want here to help thicken it up. And what would scallop potatoes be without the cheese? So let's go ahead and add our shredded cheese, mix that in until well combined, now let's season this sauce up. We're gonna add a little bit more salt, pepper, a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika, a little bit of parsley for some color, 
and we'll give it a nice big stir until all of our spices are well combined. Drizzle the cheese sauce over one layer of potatoes and spread out evenly to get that cheese sauce in the cracks. Add a second layer of potatoes, and I think you know what's next. Even more of that rich, buttery, creamy cheese sauce that is absolutely irresistible. I mean, look at that, yum. I could take a fork to these right now. And you know I love cheese, so we're going to add your favorite shredded cheese right on top, and then we're gonna throw it in the oven and broil this cheesy goodness until it reaches a nice golden brown and the cheese is bubbling. These Southern Scout potatoes with or without ham is one side dish or main dish that you can be proud to serve. Enjoy. This was a request from one of our viewers, Darwin Reeves. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. And if y'all did, please go give it a big thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button to become a part of the Crock-Pot Empire family. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you never miss an episode. And let's get social. Come find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest, where I'm always posting my life, favorite products, and even more recipes. Thanks so much for watching. See you right back here next time on Crock-Pot Empire.